Well, last week, the Asian giant hornet, or murder hornet, made headlines as the invasive species was seen for the first time in the U.S. Here in Texas, a task force was created to make sure this aggressive species doesn't show up here. But Texas already has a long list of invasive species that are causing some big problems. Eric Hernandez spoke with Texas Parks and Wildlife about the issue and gives us a closer look at what animals are causing the most problems. Zebra mussels, feral pigs, and red imported fire ants. These animals are not native to Texas, and Texas Parks and Wildlife say they are some of the most invasive to the state. As far as the wildlife, um, you know, again, some of these species that can be introduced um, may have habits that um, really deter a lot of our natural species from just even breeding, raising their young. Uh, they again may be competing for the same food source. On the Texas Invasives website, you can get a closer look at the plants and wildlife that are of most concern. And right at the top of the page, a statement about zebra mussels, which have invaded several Texas lakes and could take over all freshwater sources in the state. They, they can spread very quickly and very easily, and they outcompete a lot of our other um, aquatic invertebrates. And unfortunately, they can also adhere to any type of structure. And we all know about the state's feral pig problem, but did you know that feral cats and domesticated cats are of concern as well? And as an agency, of course, we try to advocate that um, citizens not allow their pets to free roam because they do impact our songbird populations as well as many other wildlife species. Texas Parks and Wildlife is working hard to curb these populations and want everyone to understand the importance of keeping these invasive species in check. To allow it to continue to um, prosper, then eventually, you know, 10 years down the road, 20 years down the road, as we see with feral hogs, you know, 30 years down the road, we are having a major impact across the state. For a look at other invasive species or plants in the state, just head to our website, ksat.com. We have a list up for you now. Erica Hernandez, KSAT 12 News.